Today we're going to talk about three scoop coder secrets to success. So one of the probably the important things is to have a good scoop coder. And if you notice this scoop coder, this is an old style scoop coder, it doesn't matter. But the main thing is it actually has two edges on it. It's got a rounded edge and a sharp edge. The rounded edge is the only edge I ever use. It puts on the correct amount of emulsion quickly. Whereas a sharp edge, it may look like you coat the screen really well, but the problem is you're putting so little emulsion on the screen that you're probably coating it too thin to start with. So use a dull edge. I think you'll be happier with it. It may take a little bit more learning, but you're going to have a better screen quicker with a dull edge. Okay, the second thing about your scoop coder is you've got to make sure you have the right size for your screen. If it's obviously this, this scoop coder is too big for this screen. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually resting on the frame itself. If that ever happens, guaranteed your scoop coder is too big. It has to be a little shorter. Uh, if you look on this screen here, it fits pretty easily. We've got about an inch and a half on each side. That's perfect. By the way, the tighter your screen, the closer this scoop coder edge can be to the edge of the inside of your frame. If it's really loose screen and it's too close to the edge, you're going to coat unevenly guaranteed. Nice tight screen, a scoop coder is the right size, it's going to give you the best results. Now, a lot of people are not going to have the right size scoop coder for every screen, like this scoop coder here. It's great if you're going to just do the center. However, if you have to coat the whole screen, this scoop coder is too short because what you're going to end up doing is you coat this spot here. Nice job coating. And then you come on this side and you coat this so you cover the whole screen. But the problem when you do that is you get even coating on here but a much thicker strip right down the center. If you're, it's a, if you're getting a thicker strip of emulsion through the center because of your scoop coder, you're going to have unequal exposures. It's never going to work. Not a good idea. Get the right size scoop coder. All right, the third thing I want to talk about is your scoop coder itself, the physical being of the scoop coder. Are there any dings in it, little scratches or dents? If there are scratches and dents in your scoop coder, best thing to do is either throw it away or use it for a doorstop. Because don't put it on your screen. I guarantee it's going to give you nothing but trouble. You're going to get lines and streaks all over your screen. Other thing is, when you get a new scoop coder, you actually get a cover already for it. And that cover snaps right on. So when you get it, it's going to be looking just like this. Nice cover on top. This cover is designed to protect the coating edge of your scoop coder. It's not really designed to hold emulsion. It will, however, your emulsion is just going to dry in that. And that's not what it's for. It is designed to keep the edges nice and clean and straight. No dings. So use this if you're having a problem keeping your scoop coders in good shape. When you get it, use the cover. Chromaline offers a wide variety and sizes of scoop coders. From uh, really long to really short, and they all come with covers. These are called Magic Coat Scoop Coders. Are we still recording? Yeah, that was great. Oh. I can't believe you got it one try. I was just in shock. So was I. <laughs> 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 <laughs>